Hello, Slicey Dicers. This is Brian with another knife review for you. Today, we have the We Knives MRF. MRF stands for Marcus Reichert Folder. It says folder specifically because Marcus Reichert, a German gentleman, in case you did not figure that out, is primarily a designer of fixed blades. He does some beautiful ones. I did look up some of his work. They are gorgeous. I had not heard of him before I got this knife because I'm not really a fixed blade guy, but uh, this is really nice. It is a folder, but yes, it is a slip joint, a, a pretty unique slip joint, uh, mostly because of its size, which we will get into in a moment. Uh, this is definitely a full-size EDC knife in a very stiff uh, folder. So it's a very stiff slip joint, I'm sorry, but a uh, gorgeous looking knife undeniably i i put this thing out in live videos and everybody's like what is that one what is that one what is that one ignoring all the other much more expensive knives this is not an inexpensive knife but 175 bucks and for that you're getting pretty good value we construction it's beautifully made s35 vm you have uh this is the marbled carbon version there's also a shred carbon version uh, but uh, it's just a uh, very 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 pretty thing to look at you get two different blade finishes this is the bead blast uh that's kind of almost sort of polished you know that we has used on some knives in the past and also there is a stone wash version um no nail neck this is kind of a pinch grip which kind of makes me wish i'd have got the stone wash we'll get to that in a minute um uh, but just very very pretty nice looking pocket clip the usual very minimal Wii markings. Uh, there's no pivot here so to put their logo on because it's a slip joint. So it just has the little Wii marking right there. You have on the other side uh, the maker's mark for Marcus Reichart and the usual eh, very, very tiny S35VN steel marking on the blade. We likes to make them kind of hard to find, but they're usually right somewhere in that area and they're just very, very small. Uh, but beautiful thing, just very classic lines just looks like a really good knife and it and it is spoiler alert uh, i do like this uh quite a bit let's do some specs and some size comparisons before we get too much farther we have an overall length of eight inches a blade length of three and a half inches you have a uh, blade thickness of just 0.12 inches very very thin handle thickness of 0.45 inches and a weight of 3.32 ounces and they do get the golf clap because they got it right down to the hundreds that's what they claim and that's what it actually weighs Size comparisons, we'll do a couple of our usuals just to show that this is a normal, like, uh, kind of full-size EDC knife. It just happens to be a slip joint. We have your Spyderco Para 3 and your Spyderco PM2. You can see it's about almost exactly PM2 size, but you're getting even more, even more cutting edge on there. Uh, next up, we will do your... Benchmade Griptilian. This is the full size. Again, very similar to that. And your full size bug out. So there we go on those. Again, you can see about the size of a Griptilian. Now I'm going to bring out a couple of uh, quasi sort of... Uh, traditional knives there's not a lot that really compare to this uh that we have the slip joint uh, uh this is the uh, real steel g slip slip joint and you can see not that much longer but obviously a much more much thicker more robust design this isn't a slip joint but something kind of again in this very modern traditional sort of uh, ultra modern traditional category this is the qsp worker just a little bit bigger than that this is a lockback but still kind of in that same sort of genre. All right, uh, let's talk more about this knife, specifically uh, the blade on this thing. Um, it's good. <laughs> it's it's very, very good. Uh, S35VN, oh, one of my favorite blade steels because it's it holds an edge extremely well. The corrosion resistance is excellent, and it's not hard to sharpen at all. So uh, I do like that very much about it. Very thin behind the edge in the usual Wee Knives fashion, 16 thousandths behind the edge. It, very thin blade stock, full flat grind. It is a superb slicer. It is just really, really good. Very simple drop point shape, which I like a lot. A little bit of belly, whole lot of flat. Uh, one of my favorite, just, I just like a favorite, uh, that's one of my favorite blade shapes. Just a, just a plain old simple drop point. Pretty good tip on it. Far from what I would call dainty, especially giving the blade stock, it's nicely crowned on the top. It, it's just an excellent, excellent, excellent blade. Like I said, it does come in two finishes, this kind of polished bead blast and the uh, stone wash. Um, just a great, a great, great blade. And the ergonomics don't let it down. It's a fairly simple handle shape. 
for my hands, which are large size gloves and skinny fingers, it's it's pretty close to perfect. Um, it just fits really well. Your thumb does naturally want to land on top of this uh, blade, which you think is a slip joint might be a bad thing, but you can choke back, but don't worry about putting your thumb on the top of this thing. Uh, we'll get to that when we get to the action on this. That This is a very, a very stiff uh, slip joint. Uh, don't worry about that. But uh, if I have one minor criticism, if you're, it doesn't, you don't feel it when you're actually holding it and using it, but if you're touching along here, I, I wouldn't have minded if they crowned these uh, liners just a little bit. Uh, but that's the, the minorest of things. It really doesn't bother me actually using it. This pocket clip completely disappears in your hand. Any hands, unless you have big, giant gorilla mitts, you are going to be able to get the, all four fingers on this, no problem whatsoever. Excellent ergos. Very good. Uh, as far as the carry goes, also excellent. We're going to bring out uh, yield wranglers here. Drop it in. The clip is not a minimalist sort of clip. I mean, it is a fairly large clip sticking out there, but there's no knife at all. No knife at all. Slides in on the pocket really well. Uh, pocket clip tension is just about perfect. And sometimes with these, you know, top mounted ones, they are off a little bit. This isn't, and it is, uh, it is reversible, by the way, I think. Is it reversible? Now that I say that, I do see a slot for it in there. So, yes, it does appear to be reversible. So, uh... Make sure I got that right. Uh, yeah, and hand slides by it very easy. Pretty lightweight, 3.32 ounces, and there's obviously nothing sticking out because it's a slip joint. Very easy to get your hand past. Doesn't take up much room in the pocket at all. It's it's a pleasure to carry, an absolute pleasure to carry. Now, the action on this. Um, yes, it's a slip joint, but man, is it stiff. It remind, The only knife I've ever had that it reminds me of as far as the action goes, is the uh, TRM Three Rivers Manufacturing of Vider. It was the same way. Uh, this this is a slip joint that I would not hesitate to go do harder work with. By not for a second. It is just a very confidence inspiring uh, slip joint. Now, one caveat to this is the only downside to it is there is there is a half stop. Um, the half stop is not nearly as strong as the initial so can you one hand close this thing uh, probably uh I've, I've talked to a couple people that have them that have uh i'm not going to <laughs> i just i don't trust my my manual dexterity enough to not you know blow past that uh that half stop so i for me it's two hand open two hand close uh it is definitely two hand open there isn't even a nail nick it doesn't really need one. That doesn't bother me. There's plenty of places to grip onto it and just pinch it open. Uh, but this is the reason why I wish I would have gotten the stone wash instead of this uh, bead blast because the bead blast shows fingerprints and the more you open and close it, the more fingerprints you're going to get on it. But for me, this is two hand open, two hand close, but it is very confident inspiring. So I'm not going to call that a negative. I usually do like my knives, even my slip joints to be able to be one hand closed. Uh, this one I do not put in that category, but uh, it it's such a stiff spring that it's so confidence inspiring that I'm willing to pay the price for it. I, I truly am. Uh, I, I think it's perfectly fine to have to two hand close it. You have to two hand open it, two hand close, not that big of an inconvenience. Um, so obviously my conclusions about this are extremely positive. Uh, this is going to be a bit of a rambly conclusion, but there are, there are two uses I can, I can think of this knife. Um, obviously, first of all, Marcus Reichart is, uh, you know, German. Uh, I spend a lot of time in Germany uh, and I'm, I'm careful about the knives they take over there. Their rules are one hand opened or locking, but not both. And it, to my knowledge, uh, I could not find anything I've looked about any blade length restrictions. So this is a great knife for over there, a nice stiff non-locking knife he could have still made it one hand open and have it be legal but then it'll be more specific uh, having the two hand open and two hand close it, it is legal in more places in europe and it's there's and it's a, a big full-size knife a lot of times if you're shopping for something like that it's it's small or even if it's this long it's thin and skinny you know and it, this is a really just good hand filling full-size knife that feels like a fixed blade which obviously you know because it, in the hand it just it just you know ergonomics wise it just feels like a fixed blade and it unsurprising because you know it, it he designs mostly fixed blades and 
just a really good like kind of work a day knife it looks a bit fancy for that sort of stuff but but it really is just if you live in a country that doesn't allow locking blades it it's a really good just user knife um a lot better than you know a lot of your average you know more traditional fixed blades for that kind of work now also the on the opposite end what i think it'd be great for this is the ultimate kind of uh you know beefy beefier manly office carry because it's a big full-size knife but it's not going to intimidate anybody it's not going to go kabang you know when you open it it might go kabang when you close it a little bit but it doesn't go kabang when you open it it's very pretty this blade shape is familiar to everybody nobody sees this as being like you know tactical or anything like that um and it's just a pretty thing to look at it just looks like you just have a nice expensive pocket knife it doesn't look like the kind of knife that somebody's going to use to do bad things it looks like a nice guy's knife and a discerning gentleman's knife i guess you'd say and uh, so yeah i can see it for two things if you live in a place where you can't have locking knives and you need a, a good knife that can get some stuff done that you're not going to worry about closing on your fingers uh this is an excellent choice on the other hand if, if you live in an if you live in an office maybe some people are living in their offices right now at this particular time <laughs> but uh if if you have, work in an office and you don't want to intimidate people but you still want a a pretty good size knife also an excellent choice i'm just i i really like this thing um uh, my only two minor minor quibbles are the finger printy blade that you have to touch all the time and that can be alleviated by getting the stonewash version. And uh, yeah, they, they could have stood to champ for these a little bit. But man, I'm searching for stuff. I honestly am. This is this is an excellent freaking knife. And I think 175 bucks is completely fair for it. Wii's S35VN is awesome. Their carbon fiber is awesome. It's extremely well made. So uh, go check your one out. You can always use the code SD. S-E-K at checkout at southerneddgeknifeworks.com and get 15% off and free shipping. That's where I got this one from. Or uh, when they have them in, you can use whitemountainknives.com, uh, S-D-W-M-K at checkout and get 10% off. So either one, choose your poison, but a really, really cool knife. Really enjoying it. And we'll continue to do so for a long time. And this is a last little rambling thing I'm going to say. Uh, a lot of the Wii knives, I don't own any Wiis. Uh, I own lots of Civivis. But I have found some of Wii's knives just lacking some soul. Uh, they're they're really nice designs, but I don't know. They just don't have they don't they don't hit me in the feels. Uh, this does. This absolutely does. It's definitely a unique thing that has a lot of soul, has a lot of personality, and I I really do like it. So go check one out. I've been Brian. Have a good one.